what happens when a scalar quantity is uh, going to multiply a real valid function right for a while let's say f of x is uh, is a function that is defined from x to r it's a real valid function uh, where x is uh, let me write it here x is a subset of of real number okay and in this case uh, let's say uh, alpha is some some scalar quantity a scalar quantity it means a real number right it means definitely a real number then that time then I want to know that what is the multiplication f by alpha right when alpha is going to multiply f then what what is going to happen then that time also we can define another new function you know when alpha is going to multiply this f then we can define a new function that the product will be also a new function defined from x to r right uh, and that can be defined by you know alpha times f uh, alpha f of x will be equals to alpha times f of x all right like this uh, let's take an example let's say for a while f of x equals to um, 3x okay and uh, let's say alpha equals to uh, say any number let's say for a while minus 8 so then alpha f of x will be alpha times f of x and my alpha is here minus 8 oh my god this is not looking like minus 8 times uh, f of x f of x is 3x so it's going to be minus 24 times x all right so uh, what we get alpha f of x equals to minus 24x all right and if 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 x equals to let's say 2 then what will happen then alpha f of 2 it's f of 2 oh god f of 2 will be minus 24 times 2 that is minus 48 and that will be our answer and this is how you know when a, a real valued function is uh, multiplied by a scalar quantity uh, like this uh, we have to process all right and in the next uh, presentation we'll be talking about the quotient uh, you know uh, of two real functions